So red wine of the year. This wine was the second highest ranked. The, uh, we had another one that was ranked slightly higher in the white wine category, but this was our highest ranked red wine, and it's, it's red wine of the year. And it's in the under 20 category from the old world, and uh, it's Rioja. Everyone, I'm sure, knows Rioja. So Condé Valdemar, uh, one of the best uh, known producers of Rioja, uh, Reserva. There's three levels in Rioja. Uh, well, there's Joven, four levels. Joven, the youngest. Crianza, which has been aged in oak and then in bottle for a bit. Reserva's aged in oak a little bit longer and in bottle a little bit longer. And then Grand Reserva's aged a little bit longer still. Um, but that extra bit of aging means Rioja is usually ready to drink straight away. And Reserva's often the best category. Um, Grand Reserva's can sometimes... While they're delicious, they have a little less fruit. So sometimes for, uh, for selling purposes, um, that fruity character you get in the reserve is good. This is a, the 2010 vintage. So I, I've just done something a little bit funky with the, uh, with the lay, with the, with the top here. This is your best um, kind of course here. It's got a little, little blade to cut the foil. Uh, you twist it around and then you, you lever it out rather than pulling. So, so no effort involved. So I just cut the uh, foil and then put the cork in it. And it looks kind of like from my waiting days. So, what does the wine smell and taste like? So I think you're gonna like this. Okay, so this is black cherry personified. Uh, I noticed the notes here say dripping with black cherry, and I think that's a, that's a pretty good description. So, color's a little lighter around the edges, and that's from the age. Red wine starts very dark purple, and then gradually gets lighter, and you'll see that lighter quality around the, um, the edges, where it, it, more brick red color comes in from the, the purple center. Yeah, so dark black berry fruits here. A um, little touch of uh, toastiness because uh, this is aged in oak for quite a time. But mostly the berry fruit at this stage is coming through. The, the, the oak has, uh, has, has integrated. This is a silky quality on this that I like. I've said in some of the videos that texture, texture is hugely important. And you want the fruit and you want the freshness, you want that balance. But texture, a wine should sit nicely in the mouth. And this sits beautifully. It's like silk all around your mouth. Um, with those berry fruits, little touches of tannins. You'll notice the tannins that uh, uh, from the skins of the grapes coming through on the uh, inside of your, uh, on your gums and so on. Um, but that's good. That's freshness. You need that. Works well with um, steak juices, for example, with meats. Um, but mostly this is an opulent style of wine. And, uh, and I think that opulence is what's going to uh, make it easy to sell. Um, and everyone, everyone loves Rioja. I mean, if they don't, there's something a little strange about them. And uh, I, I think this is one you might like. So just show you the bottle again. It's a Candy de Valdemar, 2010 Reserve Rioja. And it's our red wine of the year, gold star award winning, under 20 euros from the old world.